In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can save your Canva design, how you can share it as a template, and how you can use the same design again and again for branding purposes. So right now I've created this YouTube thumbnail image. This is going to be used for a course of mine, and I'm gonna to want to first and foremost download this file. So once you've got your design created, you'll want to click on the share button on the top right, click on the download option, and then open up the file type and choose the file type that you want. You can use a JPEG, a PNG. A PNG is gonna look a little bit crisper. If you wanna download it as a PDF, you have these two options. You've got an SVG file, and if you want to, you can download a video or a GIF. So we've got PNG selected here. If you want to compress it to make the file a bit smaller, you can, and you can also make the transparent background if you want, but let's just download it, and it should download automatically on the bottom left. We've just gotta wait for it to load up. We can see that it's downloading there. We can click anywhere to get rid of that pop-up, and then we could just remove that here. What other options do we have? Well, if we click on the share once more, you can create a template link. So I can click on this link and then copy this, and I can share this link with anybody else, and they're going to be able to use this link in their own Canva account if they have one. So if I was to open up a new tab and place that link and hit enter, a template created by, in this case, me, was shared with you, start designing now. And if that person has a Canva account, they can click on this, and then inside of their own Canva account, they can edit this. So this is a great way for you to give people free gifts. It's a great way for you to share stuff with other people. Obviously, this is going to be doing something for free. You're not gonna be selling this template. That's a different thing altogether. But that's one option that you have. If we come back and we click outside, we can also click on share and we can create a view only link. If you would like to copy this and send it to somebody else and ask their opinion, or maybe give it to a virtual assistant and ask them to create something similar, you can do that. You can also share the link on your social media network so long as you have them connected. So you can share it direct to Instagram, a Facebook group or page, and all of these other places as well. Now, if you would like to keep this thumbnail template and just change a few things, maybe change a little image or change the text so that you've got congruency across all of your thumbnails, then to do that, you'll want to navigate back to the home section of Canva and you'll have your recent designs here. And then you can come in here and just click on this and then it will open up and you can then change this design or if you want to, you can make a copy as well. You can click on these three dots and you can make a copy. And then down here, you can call this whatever you want. So I might call this brand TN for thumbnail copy and then hit enter. And then later on, this image is actually going to appear here. It doesn't appear here immediately. So if I go back to my thumbnail now, what I can do is I can remove this little image here and I can change the text. So I might say, for example, YouTube, um, let's say beginners and then I can come to elements and I can just type in the word YouTube hit enter go to graphics choose one of these little graphics that I like so let's choose this one make it a bit smaller drag it up here and now I have a new thumbnail but it has the same look feel coloring font etc and I just give it a new name up here so YouTube thumbnail and then I could use this one as well. And this is a great way for congruency. If you've got YouTube videos and you're making a series of videos on the same theme, then it's a great way to have your thumbnails looking the same across all of those series of videos. Maybe you wanna put them into a playlist. It just really helps with brand congruency. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you don't have a Canva account, you can get started for free. I'll leave a link below. And if you already have an account and you found value out of this video, then that's all good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video soon.